So the question is, what, where are the biggest challenges in the Canadian real estate market in 2019? It's not the office market. There's low vacancy in Toronto, Vancouver, and the major markets, even Calgary's on a rebound. Interest rates are low. The residential market is doing well. Um, industrial uh, is getting double digit rents. So uh, I think it's, it's not that. I'd say it's retail. And it's not urban retail, and it's not the super regional malls. It's the retail that is below um, the highest level. I think it's the retail that uh, is B-grade shopping centers, uh, community shopping centers, uh, they're struggling to find tenants. Americans aren't coming to Canada as they were before. Or Europeans aren't coming to Canada. Uh, so I think the retail market is the one under the most pressure. Uh, the most significant risks are twofold. One is uh, the liquidity risk in the market in general. Uh, liquidity has always been a major issue for real estate because it's a capital intensive business. And uh, we've gone through many, many cycles and uh, we've gone through a very big expansionary cycle with credit expansion over a long period of time. And so the biggest threat today is when that will, will turn and how significant and how quickly it will happen. In terms of real estate, uh, in our retail sector, there's a narrative that's quite negative on retail real estate. In my judgment, uh, e-commerce effect on, especially grocery and drugstore anchored retail real estate is really the Y2K of this generation. E-commerce will not affect uh, grocery and drugstore anchored real estate the way that the narrative is is, is being de described in the public markets. So we're quite comfortable with our fundamentals, the strong growth in terms of operating fundamentals, as well as uh, the development opportunities that we have in our portfolio that will more than offset any potential threat from, from e-commerce. Best opportunity for investment in the next 12 to 24 months. I think sticking with the major cities in Canada is a good bet. And if you can find emerging markets uh, and make an investment for the future to find yourself as part of a wave of, of an emerging market would be great. I think Montreal perhaps represents the best opportunities in that regard. Montreal has four, three or four communities, um, Griffintown, Mile End, Mile X, uh, St. Henri are all markets that are emerging. So I'd say, uh, if there's a great opportunity now to get involved and in, in, uh, buy something that will ultimately pay dividends on the long run. Yeah, for Crombie, uh, the biggest opportunity is clearly residential development on what today is grocery stores and parking lots in the middle of big cities. So Crombie has a $5 billion enterprise value with a $5 billion development pipeline. And the development pipeline is all A-plus real estate, Vancouver, Toronto, Calgary, Montreal, some of the best cities, I think, on the planet. And we have you know, great opportunities, great dirt that today is you know, purposed with single story, uh, Safeway or Sobe stores that ultimately can be turned into fantastic A plus new grocery stores with some additional strip uh, shopping centers. And then more importantly, on top of it, uh, you know, one to as much as $500 million of residential development up above it. So creating tremendous amount of net asset value growth, and tremendous value creation for our unit holders and also importantly, creating great community places, placemaking in some of the best cities on the planet. So that's our biggest opportunity.